Do you feel like you've gone too deep into porn, too deep into the darkness of sexual deviancy, that you're the only one who has done the things you've done? You are not. Stay tuned to find out why. <laughs> Hello, men. This is Madame Vore. Today I'd like to talk about the deep, dark rabbit holes of porn. First off, we need to understand the nature of addiction. And this is true regardless of the addiction. So whether we are talking about seeking the high of crack or the brain chemical high of gambling, gaming, or pornography, or the escapism of alcohol or other types of drugs, or even fishing for that matter, Ultimately, what is going on is you're trying to achieve a altered state of mind in order to escape where you're at for whatever reason. Pain, life, your past, abuse, loneliness, among many other root issues. What that means is in order to get to that altered state of mind, you take a dose of whatever your chosen drug is. And unlike a habit, which is just something we do regularly, this is something you feel compelled to do. And because of that, you will have to take a higher and higher dose in order to achieve that altered state of mind. And what that means for porn, sex, masturbation, and fantasy is a higher and higher level of sexual stimulation. This can lead you down all sorts of different paths. Just with porn alone, that means that after a while, pictures of naked women is just not enough. No matter how many you look at, they just start to blend together. And you may try videos, you may try pictures and videos of actual sex acts, but eventually it just doesn't hit. It doesn't work. And you start venturing down the different paths. And there's all, and of course, and you would know, as having been in there, there's all kinds of categories. Like amateur and MILFs, and then it gets into deeper and darker things like bondage and violence and rape. And branches off into all kinds of categories. And the reason this is, is because you have to hit, you need that higher dose that bigger hit in order to achieve that sexual rush and even possibly even achieve orgasm and this is why when you have sex with a real woman or your wife some men have trouble getting hard some men have trouble even climaxing because you're so used to this artificially high sexual stimulation that you have trouble relating to a real woman. Or perhaps you have deviated into actual into the real world. <laughs> you know, whether strip clubs or prostitution or phone sex or affairs or group sex. And it's the same thing ultimately. You are seeking that higher dose, that higher high, in order to achieve that state of mind that you need in your addiction. <laughs> So we have to realize that anything you have done, has been done, is being done, doing, and it will be done by hundreds, thousands, probably tens of thousands of men in our nation alone. And women too, for that matter. And this can does lead to some darker paths, even though what I said, it can lead to significant alterations of your lifestyle. Many people have dabbled into homosexuality because of this. And they have got into swinging and into different types of group sex. And like I said, prostitution, they're just multiple levels. If you think about it, what's a, what would be a common path? You could have phone sex, strip club, and then actual prostitutes. You can see the layers. And that's what happens through this whole process. Whatever path you go down, there's always a deeper and darker layer. Because you're looking for that deeper hit. 
and this is one way that people stumble into child porn even. Obviously, a lot of those people were abused too. And that's one reason their sexuality is warped. And that may be a contributing factor for you. But there are plenty of other people who get into these darker paths simply because straight up naked women is no longer stimulating enough. And what you need to realize is that does not make you unredeemable. That does not mean you can't overcome, you can't come back. Because ultimately, if you have been a porn addict, a fantasy masturbation sex addict, you will go down long enough. If you've been one of these long enough, you will go down one or more of these paths. And I know this to be absolutely true from my own experience from my experience with the many men that I have talked to and that I've read testimonies of. This is very common. It's not so much if, it's just a matter of when you will go down one of these paths. The regular straight porn of naked women and sex acts is really just the hook, the baited hook to draw you in to the deeper and darker stuff. So no, you're not horrible. You are just another one of us. And you can come back. You can overcome. You may have a little more to unpack. You may have to do a little more to heal and overcome. But you can do it. You can come back. You can heal your sexuality. You can reorient your sexual arousal template to a normal, natural way to your wife. I did an actual podcast on what that means and how that works, and I'll link that in the description. So don't lose hope. Most of us have been there in one way or the other, if not multiple ways. So I hope that helps. Please leave any questions in the comments, and I will respond. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.